Did you know that Canada is building a new island in Toronto? In today's video, we'll explore how Canada is transforming industrial land into Villiers Island, the history behind the Portlands and the future vision for this new urban oasis. Villiers Island is set to become Toronto's next major landmark and a model for urban redevelopment globally. Are you ready to see how Canada is building its future? Let's find out. The Portlands in Toronto has a very interesting historical evolution that began with the transformation of the Ashbridge's Bay Marsh in the late 19th century. Originally a vast wetland, the area was progressively filled in from the 1880s onward to accommodate industrial and shipping needs, turning it into a bustling industrial hub. This transformation attracted heavy manufacturing, oil refineries and other polluting industries, which posed significant environmental challenges by the mid-20th century. By the 1970s, many heavy industries had relocated, leaving behind contaminated soil and groundwater. The area transitioned to lighter industrial use and municipal facilities like salt storage. However, the alteration of the Don River's original outlet exacerbated these challenges. The creation of the Keating Channel diverted the river's flow into Lake Ontario, but this artificial channel increased flood risks for nearby neighbourhoods during severe weather. Today, the Portlands area remains susceptible to flooding, particularly in regional storm events, due to its location in a designated floodplain. This risk, combined with historical industrial pollution, showed the urgent need for redevelopment and naturalisation efforts. Recognising its potential as one of North America's largest underdeveloped urban spaces, Waterfront Toronto was established in 2001 by all levels of government to lead to its renewal. Central to these efforts is the Portland's Flood Protection Project, aimed at safeguarding the area from floods and unlocking its redevelopment potential into a vibrant waterfront community. One of the key initiatives within this project is the creation of Villiers Island, Named after Major Villiers Sankey, an early Toronto surveyor, the island is being developed to include mixed-use residential areas, parks and naturalised river valleys. Villiers Island, spanning 220,000 square metres hectares, is strategically located in Toronto's Portlands, directly east of the bustling downtown core. The project is part of the larger Portland's Flood Protection Project by Waterfront Toronto, which aims to transform 800 hectares of brownfield lands into sustainable, mixed-use communities. The primary objective of the Villiers Island project is the transformation of this former industrial area into a vibrant, sustainable, mixed-use community. At its middle is the creation of a naturalised river channel, crucial for managing flood risks from the Don River and defining Villiers Island as an entity within the landscape. Guided by the collaborative Villiers Island Precinct Plan, a partnership between the City of Toronto and Waterfront Toronto, the development emphasises sustainability and resilience. By 2024, Villiers Island will accommodate a different range of residential, commercial and public spaces. Villiers Island has expansive parks, a scenic waterfront promenade tracing the Keating Channel and a revitalised river valley that seamlessly integrates with its natural surroundings. Villiers Island is taking shape through the naturalisation of the Don River's mouth, which involves carving out a new river valley. This transformative process not only forms the island itself, but also enhances flood protection and expands the waterfront area in the Portlands, as highlighted by Waterfront Toronto and local sources. The development on Villiers Island is set to include a mix of residential, commercial, institutional and community spaces. It will feature extensive public areas such as parks, green spaces and a scenic promenade along the Keating Channel, enriching the community's quality of life. In terms of transportation, Villiers Island will benefit from improved connectivity, including plans for a future GO train station and a stop on the Ontario Line subway, ensuring convenient access for residents and visitors alike. Preserving the area's heritage buildings and structures is a key aspect of the development strategy, maintaining its historical character while integrating modern amenities. Other than that, the project aims to allocate 20 to 30% of housing on public lands as affordable housing, contributing to a diverse and inclusive community fabric. 
The timeline for developing Villiers Islands and the associated Portland's flood protection work is unfolding step by step. Firstly, the Portland's flood protection work, crucial for creating Villiers Island, is on track to finish by the end of 2024. This effort lays the groundwork for transforming Villiers Island into a thriving waterfront community while bolstering flood resilience in the area. In 2023, a density study played a pivotal role in shaping Villiers Island's future. It determined housing capacities, building heights and optimal locations for development. This ongoing study continues to guide the planning process, ensuring that Villiers Island evolves into a sustainable community that harmonises with its natural surroundings. Over the next 20 to 25 years, Villiers Island will undergo phased development with an anticipated completion between 2040 and 2050. The island's transformation will accommodate over 15,000 residents through a variety of housing options. It will feature local retail spaces and expansive parks such as River Park North and River Park South, as well as community facilities. Funding for Play Park, a nature-themed recreational destination, is expected to be secured by 2024 or 2025, paving the way for its design and development. The Villiers Island project represents a substantial investment in revitalising Toronto's waterfront, particularly through the comprehensive Portland's flood protection work, which totals over $1.25 billion. This funding is sourced from all three levels of government, federal, provincial and municipal, highlighting a collaborative effort to support the city's transformation. In 2024, the federal government announced a $9 million investment from the Active Transportation Fund. This funding will specifically go towards designing and constructing the Keating Channel Pedestrian Bridge, which is essential for connecting Villiers Island to the mainland. The bridge is crucial for residents of Villiers Island and the surrounding areas, enhancing accessibility and connectivity within the emerging communities. Beyond government funding, the project aims to leverage additional resources through partnerships, community engagement and philanthropic opportunities. One notable initiative is the planned Play Park on Villiers Island, which seeks funding to advance its development and enrich recreational offerings for residents and visitors. The Portland's Flood Protection Project is not only safeguarding the area from flooding, but is also anticipated to yield significant economic benefits. Construction activities alone are projected to contribute approximately $1.1 billion to the Canadian economy, supporting 10,829 person years of employment and generating $373 million in tax revenues across all levels of government. Looking ahead, future development catalyzed by the project is expected to add an estimated $4 billion in value to the economy and create 41,100 person years of employment, underscoring its role in fostering sustainable communities and economic growth in Toronto. Villiers Island is leading the way in sustainable development with its focus on technological innovations and infrastructure enhancements. To achieve climate positive status, Villiers Island is implementing advanced technologies and infrastructure solutions. Buildings are designed to passive house standards using high quality insulation and energy efficient windows to greatly reduce heating and cooling needs. Solar panels spread across the community will generate enough clean electricity annually to power over 850 Ontario homes. A distinct energy system fueled by renewable sources will further minimise environmental impact. Beyond energy efficiency, Villiers Island features innovative flood protection measures and a naturalised river valley to mitigate flooding and enhance ecological diversity. Extensive green spaces and parks not only offer recreational opportunities, but also contribute to the island's environmental balance. Infrastructure improvements include reducing car travel by prioritising transit, walking, cycling and electric vehicles, aiming for only 25% of trips by car. New pedestrian and cycling bridges, alongside the extension of the Waterfront East LRT line, will improve connectivity within the island and surrounding areas. Smart city technologies will optimise energy, water, waste and mobility systems, ensuring efficient resource management. 
High-speed digital connectivity will support residents with seamless access to remote work, education and digital services, enhancing overall quality of life. Villiers Island is Toronto's exciting initiative to revitalise the eastern waterfront. Located at the junction of the Don River and Lake Ontario, this project will breathe new life into a former industrial site, transforming it into a bustling community hub. Guided by the Villiers Island Precinct Plan, the development promises homes, parks and public spaces, all while emphasising sustainability and flood protection. Over the next 20 to 25 years, Villiers Island will grow to accommodate over 15,000 residents, bringing significant economic benefits. Like, share and subscribe to stay updated on Villiers Island's roadmap.